everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to color an enchantress using the Color Therapy app. This one is a really fun and different way to color a portrait. If you like bold colors, join me for this lesson. If you'd like to follow along, you can find this under The Fair Ladies Cancer. First, I want to start off by showing you my inspiration. This artist is VT, and what I really liked was the use of color and the eyes are really shining and bright. So I'm going to use this as uh, my inspiration. So I'll first start off by creating a foundation of color. So in the Dark Shades 2 palette, I'm using the fourth color on the top row, and I'm just gonna be tapping to fill in all of her hair. And then for the background, I'm using the dark blue from the Retro palette. I'll also tap to fill in her dress. And then for her skin, I'm using the Dark Shades 2 palette, using the second color from the right on the top row. Now, so I want to remove the dress and just have the her whole back showing. So I'm using the airbrush tool size 100 opacity at 40. And I'm just going to draw it and make sure coloring inside the lines mode is off and just drawing her shoulder and filling it in. And I'm doing the same thing for her hair. All right, so under the glow palette, I'm using the brightest yellow there on the top row and just tapping to fill in her eyes. Now, in the glow palette, I'm going to be using the last color, and I'm going to use the smudge tool. I'll be doing opacity 35 and size 75. And with coloring inside the lines mode set to off, I'm going to be just spraying her back. So I'm adding in this like soft pink color. And I'm going to lower the size now down to 35. I'm going to start to highlight the face. So I'm using, I'm just kind of highlighting the cheekbones, bringing it down along the jaw, up the nose, forehead, below the eyebrow. And I'll make the left side of the face have like a blue glow and the right side to have a pink and purple glow. So under the chin, under the nose. Now let's just lower the sides a little bit to about 10%. And then I'll use that same yellow from before and start to add in my highlights. So just right on the tip of the nose and the forehead area, cheekbones, under the chin, under the nose. I'm also gonna add it into the back. So raise the size a bit for the back. Just bring it down from the neck to the middle of the back and shoulder. Back in the glow palette, I'm gonna use the second blue on the second row, and I'll do size 15 and opacity at 20. So now I'll add the blue highlights. You can have either coloring inside the lines mode on or off, just depending on where you're adding them. So I'm focusing on the edge of the left side of the face and just adding blue highlights. Then right underneath the jaw too, just add a little blue, and then the neck and shoulder. Now let's do the eyebrow. So let's use the Thin For tool. I'm doing um, opacity 100 and size at 17. I'm using the hair color for the eyebrows and I'm just drawing them in. I'm just doing short quick strokes going with the shape of the eyebrows. And now let's refine those eyebrows. So I'm using the pen tool size 1 and opacity at 55 and just adding in some little eyebrow hairs in the same way. Okay so I'm also going to use the same settings to outline the eyes. So you can turn coloring inside the lines mode to on and I'm just going all the way around. It's a nice dark line around the whole entire eye. And you can also trace the eyelid and then use the same settings to color in the nostril. So just outline it and then make it dark in one of the corners. So same sort of thing for the lips, just continue to refine. I would just trace the middle of the lips with those settings and make those really dark in the middle and the corners of the lips as well. And then trace the top of the lips on the inside. You can also add a little line just for the nostril on the side right there and just right down below the nose. So now let's continue to blend and refine. So now I'm using the smear tool. So I'm going to be using intensity 100 and the size will vary depending on which area you're working in. So for the larger areas, just use a larger smear tool size. Just go ahead and start to blend everything in. So it can be coloring inside the lines mode set to on or off just depending on where you're at. So just begin to push and pull those colors you can lower the stroke opacity as needed just to see how things are looking. So you can really use the smear tool to contour the face in this way. All right, so let's focus on the eyes. So I'm using the airbrush tool a size 13 and opacity 100. So with that same yellow that we used for the eyes, make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off and just make a nice little glow, just sort of coming out outward from the middle of the eyes. Now with the pen tool, set the opacity to 65 and size at 1 and we're going to draw in some white eyelashes. So just bring them up, make them as big as you want. You can also use the thin fur tool. So I'm doing size 20 and opacity 100 and just adding in some more lashes coming up and down around the eyes for some more drama. Now with the airbrush tool, let's do size 1 and opacity 18. I'm going to draw a white highlight just going 
across the eyes diagonally, as well as from the top of the eyes down to the bottom. And just go ahead and make those brighter and brighter and just keep going over those lines till they start to look really neat. So just make them brighter and brighter. Now it's gonna be the widest right in the very center of the eyes and just kind of glowing outward. And then I'm gonna use the fairy dust tool size one and opacity at 100 and just add a little bit around the eyes just for some fun little sparkle. You can make so many different variations of this tutorial, like choosing a different astrology theme or color scheme. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.